Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from a wintry Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live tonight. Whether you're watching live with me or later on YouTube, please share my video. That really helps me out. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Hi Karen. Hi Heather. Welcome. I'm going to get you up on my screen here so I can see comments better. Hi Lisa. Wendy Sue. Hello. Karen, thank you. Okay, finding myself here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kathy. Okay, here we go. We're going to be ready to roll. Come on. Okay, so a couple things. Um, I did a little bit of research on the flashing that happens when I mirror my screen so that when I hold a card up for you, um, so you can read it and it's not backwards. Like I think this, maybe this create in the background in my window is backwards. Um, uh, and squirrel, speaking of window, do you see my Christmas lights out there? Do you see those? That's on my fence that goes between my house and the neighbor's house. Steve put that up. I've always wanted to do that, but I've never done it with the Christmas lights. And Steve put it up. I didn't even mention it to him. And he's like, hey, look what I did. And I'm like, ha, <laughs> love it. So he's got... The Christmas decorations up and um, today he cleaned out our laundry room. I can't hardly wait to show you guys. I had someone come in and paint our laundry room bathroom and the bathroom that's right here next to my office and they put in new light fixture in the laundry room and toilet paper holder and towel rack and faucet, faucet. And the light fixture, they had to build a box and then they put slats and then put the light fixture on it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Um, it really adds a lot of character and charm. And my house is 120 years old. It will be in January or, you know, whatever. Um, and you would think, oh, Kelly has a house with a lot of character. Nope. No character. There's no character in my house. <laughs> It's just an old house. Um, so that light fixture thing really added a lot of character in that laundry room. And I can't hardly wait. I've got decorations for the walls and stuff. I've got some new hand towels for in there. I sh did a little bit of shopping for that a while ago when I decided what I wanted my color scheme to be. So I had both bathrooms painted the same color. They're both a light gray color. And I... Um, the difference is just amazing. It's crazy. So anyway, squirrel, back to the light flashing when I mirror my screen so you guys can see stuff. Like when I hold up um, a card to you, everything is backwards until I mirror my screen, which is a little technical thing I have to do here. When I do that, I have all this flashing going on in the background. And so at it started a couple weeks ago, and that's when Steve had changed my light bulbs and my ceiling fan, and I also have a big lamp over here. And so I thought, gosh, that's the only thing that's different. Is that what did it? So um, I went around and tested. I went in the living room, and I'm thinking, I don't think there's LED light bulbs in there. And I tested it, and it was still flashing. Is that what I did? It was still flat. Yeah, it was still flashing. So I'm like, well, it's not the light bulbs. Well, then I talked to my handyman about the problem and he said, yeah, it's the LED light bulbs. So, oh my gosh, Steve came in today. I said, you need to change out all these light bulbs. I can't have this. He changed out all the light bulbs and I thought, you know, I went outside and I did a little Facebook live outside to see. And when I mirror my screen, it's still flashing outside and there's no LED light bulbs out there. So I'm glad I did a little more investigating. Um, and then I told Steve, come back in and change my light bulbs back out for the really super bright LED ones. And he did, but we still have to get this figured out. So before I start showing you some of the cards that people sent me, I'm going to need to turn my phone down to my desktop so that they're not backwards. And I apologize. Um, I went on YouTube and did a search to find out what was going on. Like, why is this happening? What can I do to fix it? And there's just not really anything out there telling me. Like, I don't know that anyone else, hang on, I'm pulling up my socks, that anyone else has the problem. So, oh my gosh, I just jacked up my whole pants leg. Now they're all curled up and <laughs> real life. Hi, Steve Atchison. I was just telling everybody about how I made you switch out the light bulbs a couple times today. <laughs> C. 
Steven's in the living room tonight. He's not feeling that great. He's got a headache and he thinks he might be coming down with something. So I said, he said no kissing him. So there was no kissing tonight. Um, he cleaned the whole laundry room. He took all the drawers out of the vanity and cleaned under them and cleaned in them and put in new shelf liner and he did the cupboard above the washer and dryer he did all that to it and it smells so good and clean in there i'm loving it so he was a busy guy today and the packers won woohoo yeah so that was exciting too um hi jenny hi Lori. hi rose i saw you just pop on here <laughs> steve says hi kelly from the living room hi steve Okay, um, I actually went to lunch today, too, with some friends. My friend Denise that goes to um, Arizona in the winter is home for Christmas, so that was fun. I got to go have lunch with her and Sue and Kathy and another Kathy, and we went and had Mexican. The sizzling fajita salad is dynamite at Solea for my local peeps, so um, I love that salad. All right, so what's happening? What happened to this last week? Did you guys see my blog hop? Oh, what did I do with those cards? I was gonna keep them handy so I could bring them out. And, oh, I cleaned up my office. See, this is what happens when I clean up. I should never clean up, right? I don't know what I did with my cute little snowman cards, but my desk is clear and I, who knows where they went. But anyways, I had a blog hop on Saturday and I made some 3D snowmen. If you missed it, go to my blog, www.astampabove.com and check it out because they're stinking adorable, if I do say so myself. Um, I had a blog hop this week. I have all the product in for everybody that ordered the Sip Sip Hooray kit class for me. Thank you very much. I so appreciate it. I've got all the product here and I will be starting on cutting the paper and getting those kits put together tomorrow morning. That is top on my agenda. So it's going to be a late night for me. I, December is swap month, you guys. For those of you that may not know, we have a brand new catalog um, coming out January 3rd. Is that right? January? Yeah, I always get those dates mixed up. January 3rd, brand new catalog coming out. So it's swap month for demonstrators um, across uh, around the world. And so while everybody's preparing for Christmas, we're also preparing for Christmas and getting a whole bunch of swaps made. So we have lots of samples to show you when that catalog goes live. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six more swaps to design and uh, my helper needs me to give them to her. She's gonna be with her husband tomorrow as he gets his shoulder repaired for surgery. So she said, I could use some stuff to do at the doctor's office. So Brooke, if you're on here, just know, I'm gonna be working on swaps. I will have something done by morning for you. <laughs> I hope, as long as nothing goes wrong tonight. Anyway, so that's what's happening. Um, also, my snow front class just went live. I've got, oh, by the way, I have, I think, I am making up a few extra cardstock packs. So if you're on my team and you would like to get the Sip Sip Hooray cardstock pack, the deadline is over, but I do have a few left. Just email me. Um, I do give a special rate to my discount shoppers or business builders that are on my team for my cardstock packs. And then I have one Peaceful Bows kit left. Um, this is just the cardstock pack. If anybody's interested in this, they're $15. Pop me an email, kelly at estampabove.com. And then I have three Christmas Time Is Here cardstock packs left. So if anybody would like those, again, pop me an email and let me know. I'll get those out in the mail for you. But the cardstock packs have everything in them um, to make eight, nine cards. They're, they're all a little different. And then I wanted to show you guys, look at this little paper trimmer. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is part of, I'm going to show you with a card here. This is how big it is. Okay, so it's just a little trimmer. This is my hand. This is something that people who sign up to be on my team, whether you're a discount shopper or you want to build a business or you want to do something in between, when you sign up for that kit in January, you're going to get this little paper cutter. And I'm going to keep this on my desk because it's perfect for trimming like card fronts and banners and stuff like that. And it doesn't take up much room. 
And then you're also going to get this Best Dressed 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. And I haven't even opened it yet, but we're going to do that together because we'll both be amazed and surprised and happy. I just know this is going to be beautiful. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to fan this for you. Whoops, let's get that open a little further. We'll just go, well, well, that's not working. Let's take it right out of the package. Look at how pretty that is. So this is a sampling, oh my Lord, it's gorgeous, of all the paper in our Occasions mini catalog coming out January 3rd. And if you sign up to be on my team as a discount shopper or a business builder, you get this included in your kit for free. And you get to choose any stamp set that you want out of either the Occasions mini catalog or the annual catalog. Now, the things that are not included in that any stamp set that you want are our hostess sets or celebration. If there's not a price on the stamp, which there aren't any prices on any of these products in here, you can't get it with your kit, but you can get anything else in here. I wish I could show you the inside of these, but it's against the rules and nobody wants to get in trouble, right? So this, any stamp set you want and this cute little cutter come free with your discount shopper kit. January 3rd, that starts. So make sure that um, oh, and the kit is $99, and you get to choose $125 worth of product to get those two things free and an extra stamp set. Hi, Janet Schmidt. Janet is my aunt, and it's funny because she's not much older than me. <laughs> my mom was the oldest of eight kids, so the younger of her brothers and sisters are not a lot older than I am. <laughs> All right, then... Um, online class, the Snowfront class is available right now. You can get my online classes for free when you purchase the bu the bundle of product that I show on my blog. Um, oh, Kathy says there's no Valentine paper in here. Hmm. I didn't even notice. I've got the Valentine paper. Oh yeah, there's not. Okay, well thank you for telling me that. So it's not a sampling of all of the paper but it is a pretty darn good sampling as you can see there's lots in here um that you'll be able to create with but anyways thank you for that because i i didn't really know um that was the first time i ever opened it and it's like oh this looks like all the paper um snowfront card online class you get the class for free when you order the product bundle from me you also get um the pre-cut card stock pack and I just showed you those. Oh, here they are. <laughs> like, where did they go? This is a pre-cut card stack pack. This was for the Peaceful Bows kit. This is actually eight cards. The Snowfront has nine cards in it because we do eight cards and a bonus card. And you can get it for free when you order the bundle from me. You can pay for the online class with the card stock um, kit. Or you can just get the online class from me. If you're a demonstrator and you are buying your own stuff or you have a demonstrator you're buying from, you can just order the online class from me. And again, it's on my blog. And Jody Peterson said that was the wrong stack of paper. What do you mean? What is this? Oh, this is, sorry, you guys. Okay, Whew. I did grab the wrong stack. This is the best dressed six by six. This is one of the selections you can buy Thank you guys so much. But you do get a paper sampling with the paper cutter. Oh my Lord, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for correcting me because I'm like, why wouldn't the Valentine paper? I don't know. Anyways, there you go. This is the best dress paper. You guys are all gonna be able to order this in January. Um, but you do get a stack of paper like this with the paper cutter. I don't know where that is. I've got boxes everywhere. Let me look and see if it's right here. Nope. It's not. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, if you ever have trouble with the code, um, the host code that I ask you to use if your order is under $150, if you ever have trouble with it, just go ahead and go. You do not need to... Um, 
contact me. I can move your order to a host code after the fact if you have trouble with it. So I don't want you to get hung up. Then I wanted to let you know that in January, my kit class is going to be using, oh, I can't show you that, but I can show you the real product. It's gonna be using the Tropical Oasis bundle of products. So I'll show you these. This is gonna be better when I flip my camera around. Look at these cute little tropical embellishments. Yeah, I'm gonna flip my camera around to do that. So I'll show you that in just a minute because I've got the Memories and More cardstock pack. I can show you this, look at this. Look at that giant pineapple. Ah! It's so stinking adorable, I can't wait. So when I flip my camera around, I'll show you those products as a little sneak peek. And yeah, Linda Bunce, you do not have to be a demonstrator well, somebody's asking Linda, you do not have to be a demonstrator to order this best dressed designer series paper. So I'm sorry, that was my mistake. You have to order the kit to get the other pack of paper and that little paper cutter and a stamp set of your choice. Betty, I love that pineapple too. Like I can't hardly wait to crack that open and start playing with it. Um, then that's gonna be my January kit class. Then for my online class, I do two different classes a month. One is a kit class that comes with product and a cardstock pack. The other one is an online class that you can buy by itself, buy it with the cardstock pack, or buy the bundle from me and get the class and the cardstock pack as a bonus for free. Um, but the, oh, somebody's trying to call me. Don't try to call me now. I will not answer the phone. <laughs> um, the one that I'm going to be doing for January and February is going to be using the Peaceful Posies, or Peaceful Poppies, I mean. And um, that's the one I do with my friends Dina and Barb, and we have something special up our sleeves for that particular online class. So watch for the details coming out around the beginning of January for that one, too. Okay, now I think I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to flip my camera around so that Things aren't backwards when I start like showing them to you because that's annoying, right? Nobody wants to see that. So let me get my laptop moved over here. Okay, thanks, Linda. Thanks for um, fielding my questions here. It's, oh, hang on. My cord's stuck. Sorry, you guys. Bah. Yeah, sometimes things can be a little challenging, right? I'll let you look at my boobies for a little bit. No, nope. there we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get my laptop out of the way. We're going to turn this around. What's everybody drinking tonight? I was having margaritas yesterday. We had our team Christmas party, and we were drinking some margaritas, and they were delicious. Tonight, I'm drinking strawberry lemonade, right? My little diet drink that I like to have. Okay. Um, flipping the camera. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. There's no throwing up on Kelly's Facebook Live. <laughs> Here we go. Let me get all this stuff out of the way so I can show you all the pretty things. Okay, first of all, we're going to do our winners from last week. Make sure I have this straight. Do you guys see that? I'm going to show you that in just a second. That little sneak peek. Okay. So, um, you do not have to be a demonstrator to join my team. There seems to be a lot of confusion about that. That's why we call I call it a discount shopper kit because you can join my team and get a discount on all your future orders. You don't ever have to do what I do if you don't want to. Now I've had a lot of people who have told me that they do not ever want to do what I do and that's fine. But then I've had some of those people that actually started doing what I do and they love it. So you can do whatever you want with it but you can just order at, at a discount. And um, the majority of my team are discount shoppers. I love them. I don't discriminate against them. Linda is one of them. I know there's a lot of my gals on here tonight. So you guys that are on my team you could pop in and um, say that you do not do workshops. You do not, you know, do any of that. You're just getting your stuff at a discount. And it is a lot of fun to be on my team. Okay, this is our first winner for commenting last week. 
I have Shelly Glassic is going to get these designer star elements. Shelly is from St. Paul, Minnesota, and congratulations, Shelly. I can't wait to get these off in the mail to you. And then for sharing my video, so you get entered in a drawing when you comment, share, and when you order from me during the week. And the winner of the High Seas 3D embossing folder is Mary Lynn Cox of Forney, Texas. And Mary Lynn was the comment winner, or I'm sorry, the share winner. She shared the video and she's winning this. And then the winner of the Two Every Season stamp set. This is a fabulous little stamp set that covers Valentine's Day, Halloween, winter, Christmas, and fall. The winner of the stamp set is Amy Michael of Springfield, Virginia. And Amy won this because she placed an order with me this week. So... Congratulations to all of you winners. Everybody's a winner, right? But these guys just won the drawing. And I will be getting these out in the mail to you early this week. I don't know if I'm going out tomorrow because I have to get those kits cut and ready to go in the mail. So we'll see. And I wanted to show you this tropical oasis bundle of gorgeousness. So here's the stamp set. Is that not simply beautiful? Oh, and before I go any further, I want to tell you guys, there's been a problem. Um, earlier today when I was testing out my Facebook Live about the flashing to see if, if the flashing would go away, my Facebook Live actually froze up. And I know my friend Dina has been having a lot of problems with Facebook Live 10 minutes into her Facebook Live. The screen freezes and it won't unfreeze. So if that happens to us tonight... I want to give you forewarning that I'm going to shut the video down. I will come back in. You'll need to go up and click on the name of my group, which is a stamp above dash your creative coach to refresh your screen to come back in to the Facebook Live. So I just want to, I hope it doesn't happen. It shouldn't, but if it does. So here's our timeless tropical. We've got birthday. We've got rest and relax. You deserve it. Our friendship is timeless. Thank you and hello. And look at these fun these are like um, sketch images, like somebody sketched them. And of course, our artist at Stampin' Up! did. This is a red rubber stamp set. And then these I'm super excited about. Look at the pineapple. And then we have Aloha and um, the dies that will cut out both flowers. We have a die for the palm trees, a die for the little pineapple, some leaves, a die for the big leaves, um, some little you know, very intricate leaves here. And then this is the top for the big pineapple. So this isn't actually a big stamp in here, but you get it as a die and some flowers and holy cow. Like I'm drooling looking at these dies with the stamp set. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm, I'm excited to start working with this. I love that my job is creating stuff with pretty pro products, right? How lucky am I? And don't you think that I don't know how lucky I am and appreciate that every single day of my life, even when things get a little rough, <laughs> which lately they've been a little, little, little busy. And this is the Coastal Weave. Let me see if I can get it open. Coastal Weave embossing folder. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, so we've got the weave that kind of goes with the whole basket tropical idea here. And then, um, oh, here's those trinkets that I wanted to wait until I flipped my screen around. Here we go. So we've got this little, um, I don't know what you call that. Is it a guitar? It might be something else. I'm not musically talented, so I have no idea. People pay me not to sing at church. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> might be true. So we've got a pineapple, a little guitar, um, a leaf, and then this flower. What kind of flowers are those? I can't um, Magnolia? Is, it, is that what it is? I can't remember. Oh, my screen isn't scrolling. Oh, ukulele. Yes, ukulele. Thank you. I, I did know that, but I kind of forgot. So these are the tropical, let me see, tropical oasis trinkets. And then we have this gorgeous stuff, and this is the braided burlap trim. Look at that. Yeah, cool, right? And it goes along. 
of course, with this embossing folder. So the online class or the kit class that I'm doing, you have the opportunity to just order the kit class. It's going to come with this, the trinkets. I think these cards are included in it. And I'm throwing in some um, iridescent sequin assortments. You have the, op oh, and the designer series paper. I think a half a pack of it. But you have the ability to add the bundle and the embossing folder to your kit class. So it's a pretty, pretty decent deal. I ship all of it to you. The price includes shipping and tax. Okay, check this out. We're going to look at this together for the very first time. I opened it so I wouldn't have to deal with that but I haven't actually seen it yet. And look at how gorgeous this is. <gasps> look at that. That reminds me of Cuba. I don't know, right? Does that remind you guys of Cuba? Yeah, Sherry says she loves the braided trim. Oh, hibiscus, yes, hibiscus, that's what that is. Is that what I said? I don't know what I said. No, I said magnolia, that's a hibiscus flower. Thank you very much. And then we have these, and look at this. This is some really pretty paper, too. I mean, I love the flowers, but I always love to see what they do on the other side. You get two sheets of each in these packs. Look at how pretty. Flamingos. <gasps> All kinds of bananas and funky doodle fruits. And what are those? Are the, those? We had those in Fiji when I was on the Stampin' Up! trip there. I don't know what those things are, but they were weird tasting. But they're pretty. Yeah, pineapples. Oh my gosh, this paper is just absolutely gorgeous. So that's the paper. And then I wanted to open up these Memories and More cards because I haven't really seen them yet. I like to do it with you guys for the first time so that we're all amazed and, and can drool, right? I'm going to pull these right out of here. Oh, shoot, look at that. Okay, so, oh my gosh, look at how cute these are. Let's go to the beach, and then it's double-sided. So all these little cards are part of our Memories and More pack, but you can also use them. You get two of each, it looks like. You can also use them for making cards. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Oh, I'm gonna have to do, I might do a whole class just with these. Why not? They're, look at how cute that is, my happy place. See, these are really great for scrapbooking too. See you soon. There's that ukulele. I hope I remember that. <laughs> Rest and relaxation. These are really, really pretty. And bananas. Yeah. Okay, so you get these smaller cards, and these are going to be all different. Ooh, look at that pineapple. Ah. And then, of course, you can stamp your greetings right in. Some of these have blanks on them. What's that say? Tropical state of mind. I'm always in a tropical state of mind. Very, very pretty. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so you get these smaller cards, and then you get these four by six cards that you can use, again, for your scrapbooking. Ooh, I can turn them right side up. Look at that. Hugs, kisses, and good vibe wishes. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so, so pretty. The best is yet to come. That's great for a birthday greeting. Yeah, I think I'm going to make some cards. Oh, and then here are the self-adhesive die cuts. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. I thought I should show you this tonight because, well, first of all, it's my first um, online class of the year, number one, my first kit class, I should say. But number two, I haven't really shared any um, sneak peeks with you. And it's not because I don't want to, you guys. It's just because I've been so crazy busy with everything. I don't want to do a half, you know, job, half blank job. <laughs> I want to be able to show you this stuff properly. So I figured I could do one suite tonight. And that's not to say that I won't come on and go through my whole box with you sometime at some point this week or next week. But I just have not been able to schedule that time in to do that. So you get this whole pack, Tropical Oasis Memories and More card pack. And these are absolutely beautiful. And Diane says her niece is getting married next month in Hawaii. She's not able to go, but everybody else is. That would be a nice scrapbook. Oh, you aren't kidding. That would be beautiful. Okay, this is the Tropical Oasis. 
and watch my blog for details on that kit class because you'll get these goodies in there. You'll have the ability to add, you'll get, I think this comes in there, half a pack of paper, and then you have the ability to add this on. So it's a, it's a pretty good deal. The online class is included in the price of the kit too. So, and we do four different card designs, two of each. So you'll get a total of eight cards. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of the gifts that I got recently. And then I think I'm, we're gonna start stamping. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the rest of the cards that I got this week. So we had our team Christmas party yesterday. And this comes from Lori Schwint. She's one of my team members. And she made this cute box out of the Christmas Time Is Here designer series paper. And she brought me some hemp's lips and some hemp's yuzu and starfruit um, daily herbal lip balm. This is a sunscreen one. And some little Lindor chocolate. So isn't that sweet? And you know, it's all about the presentation, isn't it? Because this is just so stinking adorable. And then there's little goodies inside, but this is the part that makes me happy. I don't know, call me weird. Then we do a homemade gift exchange. And this gift, ooh, there's lots of chocolates in the bottom. This is one of the gift bags that I've been showing um, last month and this month. And this was from Becky Falk. I, Falch, I don't know, Becky, I think I say your name wrong or different every time. But what was in it? Look at these cute little wooden hoops. And she took the um, Let It Snow designer series paper and just jazzed them up. And these are Christmas ornaments. And so I did the gift exchange. I exchanged a gift and then I got this in return. Isn't that just the sweetest? Look at this one. And look at how she put the punches on there and a little ribbon and some of the wooden snowflake embellishments, this little Christmas tree. So these will go on my Christmas tree and I thought it was so sweet. And then we have candy, yeah. <laughs> That's important too. I'm gonna get rid of this paper so that I don't forget that candy's in the bottom of there. I'll put that in my, you guys remember my little candy dish, right? Yeah, I got that as a gift in the mail too, so. Watch this. Oh, look, it's all full. <laughs> Got some Dove chocolates in there and some candy kisses. Very cool. Thank you so much, Becky. That was so sweet of you. Oh, a kiss just bit the dust. It went right on the floor. Hang on, I'm gonna hook my phone up here so the cords aren't all over, all over the place. Okay, next, I'm sure I'm missing something here. Oh, did you guys see this? I forgot to even mention it. I forgot that I was wearing it. This is from Kathy Shaning. She is one of my discount shoppers. She's from the east side of the state. And she came to our Christmas party and she brought me this. And it is just adorable. So I'm wearing it on my head instead of my tiara because, well, you know, it has a tiara in it. I thought it was appropriate. Then my demonstrator friend from Michigan, Jamie Priest. Jamie saw one of my videos and saw that my embossing powder dishes were rather mangled. <laughs> Let's just be real, right, Jamie? They were smashed and they weren't really good quality. So Jamie sent me these. She put the labels on them for me. I'm going to transfer all of my embossing powders over to these nice shallow dishes. And these are made by System... SystemAplastics.com, made in New Zealand. And they're just the right um, depth to stack nice in my drawer. And then she sent me a bunch of these. And these clip onto the edge of our bins. And you can put your, whoops, sorry. You can put your cards in them to hold your cards up when I'm doing a stamping event. So, Jamie, you are so sweet. I was so amazed when I got this big box in the mail. Jamie came to visit me last month at one of my stamp classes, and that was really fun. Okay, I'm going to put this card back and put this back. Are you guys ready to stamp? I am ready to stamp. So what are we going to make first? Okay. Oh, and I wanted to thank everybody for the... Um, here, I'm going to put these out here so you can see these. Thank everybody for 
the orders last week because if your order was over $50, first of all, on Wednesday you got free shipping. But secondly, you got a calendar kit that is coming from me, and I will be making those as soon as I get that kit class. So those will be going out this week also. Get my ink pads out here. We're going to do another project with the snow front stamp set because I've been ooh, having so much fun with it. I'm also throwing in this A Wish for Everything set. This is one of two um, uh, containers that come with this. Let me grab the other one so you can see that. Uh, a Wish for Everything. Where is it? Here it is. So this, this is a set that you get together. There's 38 different stamps in here. And I really like this one. So we're going to do two different projects, and I'm going to use two greetings, two different greetings from this particular stamp set. Now remember that you guys can find all of the dimensions and a complete shopping list on my blog tonight. As soon as I get the video uploaded, I will be sharing that with everybody on my blog. So... Just know that you can always find that. I also put all the dimensions for everything on there. So here comes our first project. I'm going to bring out all my little pieces. These were just some cards from a blog hop that I... Oh, this was announcing the Snowfront online class. This is the set that I used for my latest online class. Registration for that closes on the 20th to get the pre-cut card stock pack. Now, the online class will be available indefinitely because it's a PDF file that I sent you, but if you would like the pre-cut cardstock pack for this class, you have to register for it by December 20th. Okay, let me put these aside and get the rest of my stuff out here. Okay, guess what? We're doing another calendar card. This is just a different calendar card that I wanted to share with you. I think you guys are really going to like it. Whoops, hang on. I just screwed up my screen here. There we go. My screen is not scrolling again. All right. So we are going to start out with Whisper White Thick Cardstock. And the thick part is kind of important. I've been using Whisper White Thick for all my card bases when I use white as a card base. And I really recommend that you do too because your cards are going to be a lot sturdier and better quality. This is four and a quarter by 11. And and we are going to get out our new paper cutter here. This is our brand new paper trimmer. It's only $25. So if you need a new paper trimmer, I do highly recommend it. The blades are nice and sharp and it works great. We're going to score this at five and a half and eight and a quarter. There we go. So we've got two score lines here. Put this away. And then we're going to burnish it good with our bone folder. And then you're going to fold this other one down like this. So this is what your card looks like, okay? So we've got that and that. Then I'm bringing in my little calendar. Now, last week I shared the link of where I get these calendars from. These are the large ones. And I'm going to tear off that December because I'm going to be sending this for January. I'll send it in December, but it's going to be a January gift. And I'm going to put this on a piece of gold foil. Now this gold foil is eight and an, or I'm sorry, three and an eighth by two and a half. And I will post all of these dimensions on my blog and also above this video when we're done being live. So you don't need to worry about that. I've also got a whisper white envelope to send it in. I've got a piece of the Christmas Time is Here Specialty Designer Series paper. I don't know if you can see that gold. It's gold foil. It's got gold foil on one side. We're going to be actually using this side because we're making a masculine gift. And for those of you that think men do not like to get stuff like this, I would like to tell you a little story <laughs> in just a second. This is uh, two and three eighths by three and seven eighths, and then my gold layer is four by two and a half. Okay, and I am going to take this layer and put it right down here on the bottom of my card base. So when my brother Jeff, I my my brother Jeff turned sixty 
or maybe it was for his, I think it was for his 50th birthday. It was a while ago. I found pictures um, from when he was little, like a baby on up, and um, went through all the pictures and found all these fabulous pictures. And I made him an album. And it was just a paper album that I made. You know, the front and the back was cardboard covered with designer series paper. But it was like an accordion album. And so you know, he got some really fabulous gifts. Now you just want to put glue on the back side of the bottom of this calendar, right? Because this is going to be an easel card. So you don't want glue up here. But anyways, for his 50th birthday, his wife threw him a big party. It was super fun. There were tons of people there. He got some really funny gifts. He got some nice gifts. But that album that I gave him, after everybody was gone, my sister-in-law, Barb, um, touched base with me. And she said, you know, he said that was his most treasured, best gift that he got was that album that I made him. So don't think that men do not like homemade things because they really do. And men are always intrigued by the engineering of a fun fold. They'll play with it a lot. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> You'll have somebody playing with your card. But um, yeah, this is going to be a masculine easel calendar. That's what we're making. So I've got my snow front stamp set here. And first thing we're going to do is I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to bring in my Mossy Meadow ink. And then one of the greetings... From A Wish for Everything. Oh, that's going to go on this little strip. I've got some half inch strips here. Okay, so we're going to do a greeting, and that's a little crooked. Did you guys see my video where I had to do this five times? Oh, look how straight that is. That's only number two. I would like a round of applause, please. <laughs> yeah, I think I deserve it. Yeah, on my video the other day, I had to do something like this five times before I actually had one that worked. And people got a big kick out of it, which was kind of funny. It's like real life stamping, right? So um, what I did with this is I flagged the ends. And you're going to flag these ends. You're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And it's going to be the greeting that's going to go on the front of our calendar. And I just realized that I really did want this to be early espresso. So just in case I had to do it five times again and I couldn't get it, I already made one with early espresso ink. So we're going to see, and I made one with Poppy Parade too. <laughs> yep, real life stamping with Kelly, you guys. I'm going to put that right here on the front. And this says, just a little reminder that you are loved. Okay, now... The um, scrap, we're going to take our early espresso ink and the deer from the snow front stamp set. And I need two, whoops, wrong, wrong image. I need two log cabins, not two deer. So early espresso ink, let's turn that over. We're going to do two log cabins. And then we are going to die cut them with the smallest stitched shape circle. Now, if you guys don't have these stitched shapes, you see me using them all the time. I highly recommend them. Um, it's a great thing to ask somebody for for Christmas, um, a set of these dies, because you will never be disappointed that you have them. So once you have those die cut, and I should have just stamped them right on here. I forgot that I already did that. So here's one log cabin, and I love that the stamp set is photopolymer so you can see through it. We're going to put dimensionals on the back of these, and here's my dimensionals. So you just need one right in the middle. Okay, let me put these away so I don't lose them. Now we're going to stamp our little scenes here, and I need this, this, and this. Hang on a second. I'm going to take my jacket off as I have a complete meltdown here. <laughs> Does anybody else deal with that? Mm, yeah. Having a little hot flash. In a minute I'll have it back on because I'll be cold. So don't worry. Okay. We're going to take the trees. This is that swoosh of trees that I absolutely love. This little white piece is 2 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. It's the same size as the designer series paper that we put on the front here. So we're going to do this in Mossy Meadow. 
and you're going to stamp your trees on this white layer and then we're just going to stamp them again right over here. Okay, so we've got two sets of trees going on there. Then we're going to come in with this little zigzaggy path thing and I'm going to use Sahara sand and I'm going to stamp that right here. Then I'm going to bring in, there's several little individual evergreen trees. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to stamp it right down here. And then without inking it again, I've stamped it three times. And that's it. That's all there is. Oh, wait, our deer. That's not it. Hang on, where'd the deer go? Do you guys, oh, here's the deer. Early espresso ink again with the deer. And I'm going to put them right down here on this little path. And now that's it. Okay. Super easy. I love just sitting and playing with the snow front stamp set because the scenery that you can make is just really cool. Everything just kind of flows together nicely. Okay, let me move my ink pads out of the way. Here comes this layer. Now this is going to go on the inside of our card. At the top here you have a place where you can write a message. And I highly suggest that you do because this is a calendar. This is going to sit someplace all year long, right? Then you're going to take your little log cabin and you're going to put it right here in the middle. And then your easel card will sit against that log cabin just like this. What do you guys think? Ah! Yeah. Now, I got this idea from um, somebody that I swap with. Her name is Brett. And here's Brett's card. So this is basically her layout. I just changed the designer series paper. But isn't that pretty? This was our um, wrapped in plaid. So that's where this idea came from. So I thought I'd make one for him. Okay. And now I've got another one just about ready for her. So let's pull that out. I've just got a few things before I've got this ready to roll. Oh, we have the envelope. What are we going to do with the envelope? I think I want to do some evergreen trees. How about like this? And then where's our deer? Is our deer going to fit in here? Yep, I'm going to put the deer right over top. We'll see how this looks. I haven't actually done this yet. Oh, look at that. That's cool, right? Yeah. Okay, and on the other envelope, I'm going to do something just a little bit different. But for this one, I took the Christmas Time is Here designer series paper. All the dimensions are the same, except I used a different pattern of the paper. I've got Poppy Parade in here. We're going to stamp up our inside a little bit different. So I've got my little swoosh of trees here. We're going to put that right here. I'm going to bring in this ground piece again in the mossy meadow. And I'm going to bring that right in here. And then we've got our path in the Sahara sand. I'm going to keep that the same. I still want my deer in here in early espresso. Put those right down there. And now I'm going to bring in this big tree. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that in early espresso. And we're going to make this like it's in the forefront, much closer to us. So instead of stamping it way up here, I'm going to bring it way down here. I saw this on a card. My um, One of my team members, Lisa Nyland, Nyland, I never know how to say her name right either, but she brought a sympathy card using this tree in the front like this. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love that. And now I've got Poppy Parade, and I'm going to bring in both of these cardinals. Now, you can make these birds any color you want. They could be bluebirds. Um, you could make a mango melody and make them like Oreos. These are cardinals. And then that other little log cabin that we stamped and die cut is going to go right here. This is our easel to hold our easel card in place. And then we're going to bring this. And add this to our poppy parade layer. Just like that. Oh, we need to get our calendar on here. I've already got it mounted on the gold foil paper. 
Ooh, I almost put glue at the top of it. Don't put glue back here. We only want glue down here. See, I almost destroyed it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to add that right there. Again, I'm going to tear off this first sheet. Okay. Goes like that. And then there was one more thing that I wanted to do with it. So I took that same little circle. Oh, and I have to show you guys. I made a whole bunch of circles just in case I couldn't get that log cabin stamped right. <laughs> so yeah, those are foolproof, right? I took and made a poppy parade, one of these. And then I stamped the give thanks, giving thanks for you with a grateful heart. So I've got a little different message on there. And... I want to put this in here like this, but I wanted it to be just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take my stitched shape circle and I'm going to cut it down a little bit. And I'm going to add it to my little banner, just like this. Get it centered in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the edge right here. And bring it in so it looks more kind of like an oval yeah okay I've got dimensionals on the back and we're gonna spruce this up a little bit because this is for our friend who is not a boy or relative but a girl because we've got a little more girly colors here okay so what do you think of that huh yeah, I thought this was super, super cute. There's for her and for him. And of course, you've got room to write in here. Now, I still need to do, I've got my envelope for him, but I need to do my envelope for her. And I decided what I wanted was this tree. Oh, hang on, I just stuck my finger in the ink. I hope I don't smear it all over. And again, I'm just going to do the tree here and my little birds in Poppy Parade. There's one. And here's the other one. And isn't that just a really pretty little envelope to go with this? Who's not going to love getting this in the mail? So, one thing I recommend, if you're running behind on your Christmas cards... Maybe instead of sending out a Christmas card, if you haven't made them yet, you could send out a New Year's card. Or you could just send a card like this. You could put a, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in it. This would work, right? But you can just send this as any kind of card. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card or a New Year's card. But this is a great alternative if you're running behind on your Christmas stuff. Because I know that sometimes that happens. It happens a lot to me, <laughs> and uh, it's a good way to take care of the problem. So there we go. And now I might have a little bit too much on my agenda tonight for you guys, and we'll see how it goes, but I may have gotten a little carried away. Um, we might have to cut something short, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. I'm going to get ready for the next card. Uh, I'll leave those out here for right now and clean up my little mess here. All those little pieces, snow front, get rid of this, get this out of here. Okay, I think we're in good shape. All right. Next. Hang on, I'm losing dye pieces here. I promised, I shared a tip video on my blog uh, last week, Wednesday, and I promised that I would show you how to make the card that I was doing the tip on, and I was doing tip on the puff paint, and the puff paint, unfortunately, is no longer available. We sold out of it because, why? It was completely awesome and very, very popular. So... I'm really sorry about that. We're not going to be using it tonight because, well, you can't get it. But I am going to show you an alternative to the puff paint that was on my original card. So I've got the Peaceful Bows, and this comes as a bundle. This was my kit class last month. 
This comes as a bundle. And then I'm also going to be using the Kindness and Compassion stamp set. Uh, where do you buy the... Okay, so Cindy asking about the calendars. There's actually going to be a link on my blog. And there's a link on my Facebook page that you're on right now from last week where I got my calendars. So just know that you can find the link there. I think it's called uh, Something Publishing Company. And they're very reasonably priced. They ship pretty fast. So that's where you can get them. The link is on there and you'll find it. And for those of you that may not have been with me that last week, please don't share any links to anything on my Facebook Live or my Facebook page. Um, Stampin' Up! has some rules against competing companies. And, of course, I don't want people to be taken away from my page to go to somebody else's store, right? Because that's not cool. So, please don't um, share links. If you want to share a link with me privately, you can certainly do that. But don't share links on my page. Okay, so I've got a piece of Mary Merlot. And this is 8.5 by 5.5. And, and I've just folded it in half. Then I've got a piece of crumb cake, and I'm simply going to add that. This is four by five and a quarter. Again, all these dimensions will be above the video when I'm done. Um, I will put them there. I'll also put them on my blog with still photos. I've got a very vanilla envelope. I've got a scrap of early espresso. And where did those dies go? So with the early espresso, we are going to find the um, pine cone dies. There's a big pine cone and a little pine cone. So we're going to die cut those. Oh, you're going to need a scrap of, um, here we go, mossy meadow also. It's going to need to be a little bigger than this too. So we're going to, hang on, here we go. Um, we're going to use this die on the mossy meadow, and then there's a single die too. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. We're going to do this one and this one on a scrap of mossy meadow. And then you're going to take these intricate pine cone dies. Aren't they cool? I just think they're so cool. And you're going to die cut those on some champagne foil paper and of course through the magic of TV I already have all of this done so hang tight while I get this out I want to put my dies away because I have a habit of losing them yeah not cool I spent forever last week looking for this tiny little star and while I lost two of them I found the one that I lost and then I spent a ton of time looking for the other one and found that I never really lost it at all. So <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Like it was so frustrating because I spent like I did clean up my office because when you lose something you start cleaning up your office and I did clean up my office because I couldn't find this star and lo and behold when I finally got sick of looking for it I found out that I really didn't lose it at all. I had all my stars, so it's like I don't usually have all my faculties, but I had all my stars, people. Okay. Um, I'm just checking my messages here for a second. Hang tight. All right, we're looking good here. I don't see any questions that I missed. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. A lot of my team members are on here, and they'll field questions for me, which is fabulous. I really appreciate that because, you know, it's kind of hard to do all this stuff in stamp. Sometimes I have a hard enough time just being, right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. This message says, sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. And I'm using Early Espresso ink. I'm going to stamp this at the bottom of a, let me think about this, at the bottom of a um, three and three quarter by five inch piece of very vanilla. Whew. Math is hard. I am not going to lie. Then I'm going to get out some of this Mossy Meadow and I'm going to use this stamp. And I love these pine bows. And what I decided to do was... I'm just going to stamp this like this, 
We're going to ink again, and I'm going to stamp one right up here. So that's what we end up having. And then we're going to, now this is what I'm going to do instead of the puff paint. Since we can't get puff paint anymore, I thought, hey, why not take our craft white ink pad and just rub our pine bows in that ink. And I hope you can see that. Now we've got a little bit of white on the edges of these. And I thought that'll work. That'll work just fine, won't it? And I was right. It's not as spectacular as the puff paint, but you know what? Sometimes we can't have everything <laughs> as much as we would like to have everything. Today I wanted to go shopping after I went out to lunch with my friends and get some stuff for the bathrooms because I hope Steve's not still watching, but he keeps buying things for the bathrooms. Like he bought new um, toilet brush brushes, you know, for cleaning your toilet. And he got these giant things that I hate. And so he keeps coming home with all this stuff for the bathrooms. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I will take care of buying the things because I know what needs to go in there. But he's trying to be helpful. And then I don't want to be mean. But it's like, stop buying things for my bathrooms because I'm doing this. So I need to get my butt to the store. So after I ate lunch, I wanted to go do a little shopping. I need a shower curtain because our shower curtain doesn't match anymore, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, there wasn't a single parking spot in the Home Goods parking lot. And that's when I decided this is stupid. I can go shopping during the week when there's not 5 million people here. So instead of going shopping, I just went home. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I did too because I really did have a lot of things that I needed to fix up. So I'm just taking tape. I'm putting it right there in the middle. Here's my pine bows, okay? And then we're going to take these little dudes. And I'm just going to, here's how I, whoops, hang on, I got some glue buggers on there. Um, I just take my glue and just kind of scribble it on the back of here. And it's only going to hit where it sees, you know, where there's, Foil, I guess, is a good way to put it. And then we're going to fit that right on here. Oh, maybe that wasn't just the most genius idea ever. Let me grab a tissue. Oh, somebody told me that used dryer sheets are the best thing to pick up this ink with. And somebody said last week that they use them all the or ink, I mean glue. They use them all the time for this, and they work really good, and they can use them over and over again. So that might be a better alternative than what I just did. So maybe don't put your glue on like I just did. I didn't have that much trouble last time, but I think I got too much on. I'm just going to do, come on, there we go. Just a couple scribbles. There we go. That should be more than enough glue. So I'm sticking the champagne to the early espresso. And you could use your sponge. I'm just lazy. I'm a lazy stamper. I've told you that many times. <laughs> I show you the good ways and the right ways to do thing and things, and then I'm just lazy. Hang on, I lost my dimensionals. Do you guys see them laying here anyplace? I thought I left them out. Oh, here they are. Okay. Oh, and Cynthia said the white chalk pen also works for snowflakes and snow on branches. That's a great idea. I like that idea. White embossing powder, I considered that too. Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Sam is my friend from San Diego. So good to see you on here. I'm excited about um, Stampin' Up! is going to be in Salt Lake City in November for an onstage event, like a big convention -y thing. And that's where I get to see Sam. Yay! Because she lives in, like, well, I said that already, San Diego. So, okay, then I'm going to take this pine cone, and it's going to cover up that tape, right? Yeah, it kind of made a mess. Okay, let me see if I can spit on it a little bit. Yep, sure enough, that wiped that glue off that foiled paper, so that looks better. I know I probably shouldn't even tell you guys that, because you can't see that it's a mess, but I can. I don't want to be doing any deceptive stamping here tonight. Okay, so there is our beautiful sympathy card. We still have to decorate the envelope and the inside. Here we go. Now, I've got a little pop-up box that I wanted to share with you guys tonight, but it's already 8.05. How are you feeling? 
Are you feeling like you want me to share it tonight or do you want me to wait and share it next week? You guys let me know. Vicki Brooks is going in November. Yay! I'm looking forward to meeting a whole bunch of people. You know, going to Lansing, Michigan was just a ton of fun. I met so many people that follow me on Facebook. It was just so neat because it's nice to put a person, a face, a personality with a name that you see on the screen all the time, right? Okay, and then we have the greeting, and this is also from the same stamp set, Kindness and Compassion. Let's see if I can get this straight. Oh, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to take this little pine cone, and I'm going to ink it up in the early espresso. I'm going to stamp off once, and I'm just going to put it right there. That's just a neat little accent. Oh, my words are kind of crooked, but I think they'll be okay. This is four by five and a quarter. It's also very vanilla. And we are going to put this inside our Merry Merlot. I love the rich colors here. Then we need something for our envelope. And I think what I'm going to do with my envelope is just stamp that pine bow right on there. And look at that. And now I have um, a sad card, but a beautiful card that's going to bring somebody some peace, right? And knowing that they're thought of. So sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. Our sincere condolences. Very, very pretty. I'll show you the other one that I made too. This is the one that has the snow on it, the puff paint. Same exact card. There's nothing different about it. My greeting's a little straighter. <laughs> course it was much easier to stamp it when I didn't have the pressure of 310 people watching me but you know <laughs> yeah okay there's our next card I am going to what did we decide do you want to see the pop-up box let's see what am I hearing Marcia says share all you have for tonight if we can't stay there's a replay well that's a good point isn't it Okay, but I got to remember that I have to get stuff done for Brooke. <laughs> but Brooke is my helper, my assistant, and um, she needs some stuff to do while she's sitting at the surgery center with her husband tomorrow, waiting for him to get a repaired shoulder. I feel bad for him because I know the shoulder is one of the worst ones, right? It's one of the takes the longest rec recovery time. It's the most painful. I just really feel bad for him. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do it, you guys. I'm gonna jump right in. I hope I have enough of this done that it doesn't take forever. This is kind of a putsy little project, but I know Linda's on here. I don't know if Linda Bunce is still on here, but do you guys remember this cute little box that she sent me? Yeah, this had candies in it that I've eaten, but when you open it up, it's got a little elf that pops up and says no peeking. And so I had so many people ask me to make this so they knew how to do it that I asked Linda for the measurements. I, I could have torn the box apart and figured it out, but I thought, oh, I don't want to tear it apart. It's so stinking cute. So I'm going to show you how to make the box. Mine's a little different because... This paper isn't available anymore, so I wanted to show you a different version where if you don't have the paper, you can still make the box. Okay, here we go. I decided, um, oh, I have another little project to share with you that goes along with the box, too. I thought as long as I was making stuff, I needed a card to go with it, so I'll be sharing that with you also. We're going to take a piece of... Ten and a half by eight Coastal Cabana cardstock, and I always say that like I have some type of a ritzy accent. Coastal Cabana, no, it's Coastal Cabana. <laughs> say it like it's supposed to be said. I don't know why that happens to me every time. We are going to score this every two and a half inches on the long side and the short side, so that's a little um, different, but super easy, right? So here's two and a half inches. And then two and a half more inches would be at five. And then two and a half more would be at seven and a half. And two and a half more would be at ten. So like I said, super easy. Just score every two and a half inches. 
Now we're going to turn it to the short side, and again, we're going to score every two and a half inches. So that was two and a half, five, and seven and a half, and we're not going to have that next score line because we're out of paper. But isn't that simple? Yeah. Oh, what happened? I didn't get my other score lines. Hang on. I heard something click in place too, so I don't know what I what I did wrong, but we'll get them on there. There they're coming now. There we go. Okay, so I hope you can see this. Um, I would stamp this up first before I did that part. It's just easier to stamp when you're not having to stamp in score lines, right? Because it'll it'll it, it's indented and you'll miss a little piece of it. But what I did is I made a template to show you guys. So let's see, this goes like this. Here is our piece that we just scored and here's the template. And Linda actually shared a picture of this with me. So that was really cool. What did somebody just say about, um, hang on, I'm looking at my messages here. Something about always enjoy, oh, yep. oh you're welcome. Oh, Lois says she had a shoulder fixed and honestly don't remember how long it took to rehab it. Well, that's good to hear, I guess. Sue said she had two shoulder repairs six months apart. Ugh. I'm so sorry. Um, so here's our box and here's our score lines. And then you're going to cut it like this. Now, I'm going to have a picture of this on my blog. The solid lines are cut. And the dashes are score lines. Oh, look at I forgot to do this one. Hang on. I don't want to forget to. Let's do this. This is a score line also. Dang it, now I'm going to have to retake this picture. That's okay. Okay, so this is the template. Now, Linda shared with me that this is a bigger box. This box is going to be bigger than the one that she made, so I thought I'd make that one. But this little box is eight and a half by six and a half scored at every two inches on the short side and the long side. Eight and a half by six and a half for this one scored at every two inches. So once you stamp and cut this all up, this is what it looks like. Now you notice that there's little diagonals cut on these two tabs. And then on this tab right here, we are going to take the detailed trio punch and we're going to round the corners. I love this punch because you get three punches in one. We're going to round the corners on this tab. Okay, just like that. Yay! Okay, so here's our box. Get your bone folder out. You want good, crisp fold lines. And you're just going to fold on all of them and burnish the edge. Oh, Jean says she's been waiting for this. I'm so glad you're here tonight, Jean. Yay. I know, these pop-ups are stinking adorable. I was going to kind of hang on to it until we get into the next catalog, but then I thought, it's Christmas, and people want to make really super cute things, and maybe I'll do this again with something out of the Occasions mini catalog. I thought that cute birthday set with the animals would be super sweet with a pop-up, so I might do that. Okay, so here's our, here's our box. And what you're going to do is fold that one down. Oh, by the way, I stamped the little snowflakes. Oh, how about if I bring out the stamp set? Oh my gosh, I just got so carried away. I stamped these tiny little snowflakes in Coastal Cabana ink all over this piece. And now we are going to, you can use tear and tape or liquid glue. You're going to just go like this. Okay, that makes our little box. Now we're gonna do this. Now this is the front of our box. Ooh, I should get my little circle punch, hang on. This, oops, I just bumped my desk. Sorry, sorry for the jiggle. Um, where was I? Oh, this is gonna be the front of our box. So I don't wanna fold this down like this and then see that raw edge sticking up at me at the front of my, I, I'm really weird about that. So I will stick it down like that so that it's the nice fold this way. Just a little tip that makes your projects end up being a lot nicer when they're finished. So we're going to add that, push it down. Oh, I should have put some glue on from the inside too. So let's do, 
Let's do that in this flap right now. I'm just going to add a little, little bit of glue. See the glue in there? I think you can see it. We'll just stick that down like that. Okay, so that'll just make our box a little sturdier. Okay, so here goes that part. Then I'm gonna take my little half inch circle punch and just to make it kind of like really like professional, right? Boxes you buy at the store have little divots, da da da. We've got these edges rounded and here comes our oops, cute little box. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so we need to do the pop up part, right? Okay, I have got my scraps for this right here. Let me, I'm gonna bring in a new one of these so you don't have to look at pine bows all over the place. Here comes a Whisper White scrap. This is from my card, that's just a scrap. And what I've got here is a red scrap also. We're gonna be using Memento ink. I've got some tear and tape here. Um, I'm using some Stampin' Blends to color the little elf in. Oh, and then I have Candy Kisses. <laughs> the um, Classic Label Punch, that's for the little card that's going to match all of this. Okay, we're ready to roll. Memento Ink. You always use Memento Ink with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. So I am going to take my little no peeking and again this is just a little scrap do i have that oh yeah little scrap i'm gonna put my little no peeking right here okay and then as long as i'm stamping stuff i wanted to use one of these um memories and more little note little note cards these are small they come in a pack with it's called assorted memories and more the item code is one seven nine seven one zero so let me write that for you one whoops one four nine did i say seven seven one zero one four nine seven one zero memories and more you get 20 larger 20 small 40 envelopes to match the large and the small and these are already scored for you. Look what I just did. I just got ink all over my envelope. For Pete's sakes. Don't let your envelope lay on your ink lid. Oops, there goes another one. Hang on, we're having some difficulties here. Here's our little cute little envelope. Okay. Now, the white piece for this, I have this written someplace on something. Nope, maybe I don't. I thought I did. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, the, the, this card is, I think, three by four, the front layer. So I've got a whisper white layer here that's two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and then a real red layer that's three by four. Oh, and then this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping on here. And I'm going to take this cute little elf that is by the Santa's Workshop sign. I'm going to stamp this on my Whisper White layer, and then this little scrap right here is for my greeting. And I've got a holiday hello. I'm just going to stamp that right here. I'm going to use the Classic Label Punch to punch it out. And I'm just using that because it's easier than trying to punch or to stamp on a little strip like this, right? Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this end off, I'm going to flag it, and it's just so much easier to stamp first and then punch out a little tiny greeting like this. I thought, what have you been doing all this time where you're messing around stamping five different times because you can't get it straight, right? You know, sometimes you can teach an old dog new tricks, and this was one of them. So I hope you're learning a new trick. <laughs> Not that we haven't known that, but with the little strips, I'm always really struggling to get those straight. So here's my little greeting, and this is going to go on my card front. So I'm just going to take and stamp that up a little. Oops, there we go. Finger in the ink again. Stamp this up, and I'm just going to come in really close to my greeting. You could mask this, but it's just not that important. Um, 
So I'm just going to kind of stamp all around it. And this worked really good for me. I just wanted some little snowflakes on here so it's not just stark white. That looks great. Okay. And then we're going to color this. We're going to color this. Oh, and then I need one more of these. And I'm going to do this right here. Okay. Let's get these closed up because, yeah, Kelly's having some moments with the ink pads. Eh. Here we go. Okay, how's everybody doing? Um, okay, so somebody just asked if you can put your punched piece back in and flag it that way. And what she is saying is that you can do this. But I think, oh, look at this. Oh, my God, you're a genius. I didn't even think of that. Genius. I just put it back in the side. Look at that. That. <laughs> So smart. See, there, I just learned something else new. You can bet I'm going to be using that. Thank you. And that's why we get together and stamp, right? So we can learn all those fun things. Okay. Now, here's the different blends that I have here. I have, oh, I don't need this one. What is this? This is dark red and this is light red. I don't, I didn't use light red. I used dark red, light Bermuda Bay, bronze, light crumb cake, and ivory, okay? So we're going to take and color the little elf guy, his face and hands, and e his great big giant ears, ivory. So you're going to do that on all of these little pieces. And I think that's it for him. Then we're going to use the um, bronze for his little hair. And I'm not doing a very nice job, you guys, because I already have this done. But I just want to show you how I did this. I didn't do any particular um, um, shading. I just used these to color. That's all I did with them. You're going to do your stripes on your pole. So I'm not being real neat because I know I'm like keeping you guys a little longer than I would certainly like to. Okay, I also used copper down here on his little shoes. Uh, we're going to color this in. <laughs> color in your little stripes. Okay. Um, once you get your little guy done, you're going to take him. We're going to be cutting him out. So I'm just going to... Cut him out a little bit, okay? I'm going to take him and I am going to glue him to this scrap. That might not be big enough, but okay, it looks big enough. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue behind his hat, okay? So I can see it through the light here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there, maybe a uh, little bit of glue over here and here. You want to leave the middle open. And this was just an idea that I came up with because we have a backing on this guy for the pop-up part. Then you're going to come in here and you're going to cut out your little elf. Now you have them all colored. Don't I'm kind of rushing ahead a little bit. He's all colored and looking great. Now you've got a layer of red behind him. And you're going to, wow, I'm cutting this out really good for going so fast. Sometimes I really impress myself. <laughs> So you're going to cut this little guy all out, and then we're going to go just like that. This is a little sign, okay? And now, I have a piece of our window sheets. I know this is really hard to see. This is a half inch wide by three and a quarter long, okay? Half inch wide by three and a quarter. You're going to take your done little elfie guy and you're going to put this in between these layers. Okay? And this is going to be, and it just kind of sticks all the way up in there. This is our piece. Now, I have already colored all these little elements and cut them out so you wouldn't have to wait for me to do that nicely. Because, you know, it takes a long time to do all that. 
So, do you guys see my strip of window sheet? Oh, here it is. I knew I was I'm like, I'm going to lose it because you can't find it. Now, for this little piece, I am going to grab some glue dots. So I'm just going to, because I haven't glued it together yet, I can do this. But you can figure out any way you can. Throw some glue on it before you slide that little piece up in there. But I'm going to take my red back that I already cut out. And then I'm going to, oh, this isn't even straight. How about I get it straight, Kelly? Come on. That looks better. Then I'm going to just put a little bit of glue here. And here and up here. I want his hat not to fall apart. <laughs> and then you want to throw it down, face down on your table with the glue. <laughs> uh, not really. All right. Cappy Fennel, why do you have a sad face? I missed something. Why is Cappy sad? Oh, she's frozen. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you probably can't even hear me, but I'm sorry. You'll be able to watch it on the replay. Sounds like your internet is giving you a hard time. Okay, here we go, you guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of tear and tape. Where is my tear and tape? I know I had it out here. Do you see it? It's here somewhere. Um, huh. All right, guys. Where? Oh, here it is. I put it way over there. We're gonna, I'm going to do tear and tape because I want this to really stick and I just, I don't know if it will or not. So here we go. You're going to put tear and tape on the front of your window sheet. And then I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and pull the backing off of it. Just like that. And now we're going to take this in our box. And we're going to center it and stick it right in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on. So I haven't actually made one of these yet. I just made the um, templates for it. So it's kind of really cool. Now I'm going to put this little guy right on the front. Just like this. I'm going to angle him a little bit because I just think that's kind of charming. Trim off the bottom here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay, wait for it. I've got some red shred. Whoops, I always take too much. A little bit of shred goes a long way. Look at how cute it is. Oh, I've got a shred mess going on. Shred head. And then here comes, where's all our candies? Look at all these candy kisses that I got. We're going to throw all of these in here. Now, these are the kind of gifts that you take and give to your friends. Like, for example, today I went out to lunch, and it just so happened that it was Denise's birthday recently. She's my friend that I went out to lunch with her and some other ladies. And so I took her one of those little gift bags that I've made recently, um, like the one that... Uh, Becky made one of these and I put a really cute little pair of socks in it one of my friends bought me some Christmas socks and I thought that's a great little idea to give to your friends so I went to I think Joanne Fabrics and bought a bunch of little Christmas socks and so I took that to Denise in a bag and gave it to her for um, a little birthday gift we don't exchange gifts as a rule you know so it was just a little token to tell her that you're a good friend and um, this would be another little thing that you could take next time you go to lunch with a friend or whatever. And you could certainly decorate this up so much more. But there is our cute little elf. Isn't it just adorable? I know. Now, of course, Linda's is decorated up so much cuter. Um, she put a lot of time and effort into this. She put a little card on hers that's hanging off the top. And then there's her little guy. And I noticed that she put the backing on it to cover up that window sheet in there, right? So, so, so adorable. So when you open it, here, I'll try to, let me stand up, make sure I've got this in the, get some light in here. How about that? <laughs> I 
I love it. So I'm going to keep this. I'll throw this by my purse. So the next time I'm going out to lunch for, with somebody, I'll give this to them as a little gift. And they'll love it. Or Secret Santa at work. This is a great idea. So let me bring back in. Where did my template go? Right here. Here's my template. And then if you want the smaller box, so you can see the difference in size between mine and Linda's. Mine is the bigger, Linda is the smaller. If you want the smaller box, here are the measurements for that. I know I'll hold it still in a second so you don't throw up. <laughs> There's no throwing up and stamping. And here is the template. I will have a picture of this on my blog. Now, what I have to do with my blog is I have to take photographs of all of these things that I've made and I need to edit those photos while I'm waiting for my video to upload to YouTube and then I have to process it and bring it down to my blog. So there's a lot of blah 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 that goes into getting this blog post ready to go but what I can tell you is I've already put all my links on there. I already have my shopping list made. And on my blog, I also have, um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I also have all my dimensions typed up and on my blog. So all I really have to do is get my photos on there. Oh, you guys want to see what all this was for? How about this? So this little piece right here, I forgot about my card, so hang on. This little piece right here goes on the red piece. And the red piece is... Uh, three by four okay and then I'm gonna put it on my little memories and more note card okay we're gonna stamp up the inside this little holiday hello is gonna go right here and so here's a nice one <laughs> not the one I colored really fast and here's the inside. May your Christmas be merry and full of delight with a new year that's happy and healthy and bright. Isn't that sweet? Put some little snowflakes in there. I colored this ground here with the light crumb cake, just so you know. Everything else is the colors that I've already given you. Here's my envelope because I do plan to hand deliver this little set with the gift and the card. So... Um, I just stamped just for you in there. Isn't this the sweetest little thing? Let's pop it open again. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, just a fun little, fun little card. Thank you so much, Linda, for sharing this with me and sending me one because this is the kind of stuff I love to be able to share with everybody. So, okay, cool projects tonight. I am going to clean up some of this stuff so I can show you the... Um, cards that I got in the mail this week. I have quite a few of them to share. That's kind of why I saved them for the end so that I could, if some of you have to leave, you can come back and watch those, you know, look at those later. There'll be a replay that you'll be able to see. Here's this. I'll leave this little box open <laughs> because why wouldn't you, right? And here are the here's the sympathy card and the envelope here's this we'll get rid of all this and then here are the easel calendar am i getting out of my frame yep i am here's the easel calendar for her and one for him there we go Okay, let me get some of this stuff picked up, close my glue up, and I'll bring out all those cards. I've got some beautiful cards to share with you guys. And then I want to know who is coming over to my house to help me clean up this disaster. <laughs> Every week I have such a mess going on after I'm done with a Facebook Live. It's kind of funny, actually. Not really. <laughs> But I love it, and it only takes me a few minutes to clean up. Okay, here comes all of our cards. This is just crazy. I got a lot of cards this week. Oh, here's another one. If I miss anybody, I apologize. Um, but I'll get, get you on here next time. If I didn't 
I think I have all my mail opened. Okay, so we're just going to put these off to the side. Does anybody have any questions that I missed that you asked tonight? Because now I can kind of pay a little bit better attention. It's kind of like when you have to walk and chew gum and rub your belly at the same time. That's what this is like for me. <laughs> okay, so this, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this card. I made these years ago and they are so fun. This is from Tammy Litsky and her family. And maybe I'll show you guys how to make this sometime, but it is super, super cool, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Very, very neat. Okay, then I have a thank you. Oh, um, there's no note in here. I don't know who that came from. I got this thank you card, but the note is gone. But isn't it pretty? That's that tree from the Snowbound set. Oh, maybe this was a swap card that I got, you guys. I'll bet you it was. Um, here's the swap. Oh, yeah, I did. Here's another one using the Snowbound, which is the same set that I used for these easel calendars. So yeah, same thing. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at this is a fun fold. Ah, yay. Okay, I'm going to put that one over there. Then I received, look at how pretty this is. You are a star. This is a brand new stamp set coming out in the Occasions mini catalog. Um, I'm reading my comments right now, looking if you have any questions. This is from Shannon West. She is my um, demonstrated development manager at Stampin' Up. I was on the Great Lakes Demo Council for our area for Stampin' Up. And um, Shannon is sending me a card that says, Your light shines so bright. Thank you for sharing that with the Stamping World. And congrats on a spectacular year. And isn't that just the sweetest? Yeah. I thought that was really nice. And I hope you can see that she used that brick background in the back. I just really think this is a classy little card. This is made with our note cards and envelopes. So, yeah. Isn't that cool? And, yep, coming from Stampin' Up. So that was neat. Then, here is another card. And this is from, oh, this is from Jamie. She's the, she's the friend that sent me all the containers for the embossing powder. Look at how pretty that is. Again, with the snow front, same stamp set. So very popular. And her and her sister came to my class. And she's just sending me um, a, a thank you. She said, I noticed your embossing tub had seen better days. How very kind of her to put it like that. <laughs> so Merry Christmas. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Okay, then look at this gorgeousness. Isn't that pretty? All of these dies are in the Pine Boughs bundle that I just showed you tonight. So um, this, yeah, this is just done with gold. So even this is in there. This is one of our punches, I think. I don't know where uh, I don't know where that's coming from. I think it's one of our punches or dies too. But this is from Arliss Canoop. Arliss, thank you so much. This is just I opened it and I was like, whoa, that is beautiful. And then we have Betty Thorne. Betty is on my team as a discount shopper. Look at how pretty this is with that wrapped in plaid. And look at oh she did. Look at she did like my snowmen. If you guys didn't see those snowmen cards, you need to go look at them. I don't know where they are right now. I can't, I don't know what I did with them. Unless they're laying in that box right there. But look, this is a 3D snowman and I show you in a video how to make that. She did it with the tree. That pretty? Look at how pretty that is. Thank you, Betty. Then I got this gorgeous card from Jeannie Calmus. I hope I said your name right, Jeannie. Jeannie is one of my local customers. I always enjoy, enjoy spending time with her. I love the little Santa and sleigh there. Very pretty. And then one of my team members, Jay Shante, sent me this. And isn't this just gorgeous? I love this. This is designer series paper, and she just stamped over it and colored it in. I would assume with the Stampin' Blend markers. 
but she was thanking me for the gifts that I distributed on the bus. So we had a great big charter bus that went down Wisconsin, picked up people all over the place that took them to Lansing, Michigan to the Stampin' Up! event. And um, Christine Bertram is one of my team members. She organized all the bus stuff, but I decided that I wanted to help. And I contributed a whole bunch of door prizes that they played games and bingo and stuff on the bus. So that's what she's telling me here. And she said she picked this, the package of stamp cases and she's already put them to good use. So that's really cool. And you are very welcome, Jay. Thank you for the beautiful card. Then we have this one. And this is from Andy Acquisto. I think I, Acquisto. Andy Acquisto. Anne actually came to my Christmas card event my Christmas um, stamp camp look at how beautiful that is and it's got a lot of dimension there oh my gosh so gorgeous I love the highlight behind this thank you so much Anne this is just so beautiful Anne is on my team and it was so nice to meet her then look at this one these are our snow globes so, I just love to sit and play with these, right? Isn't that so pretty? This is from Barbara Palzweski. And Barbara's from Garden Grove, California. Look at how pretty that is. She used that trio punch to do this on the corners. Is that what? Well, close. It's close. We used to have a punch that did that design. This has a little dot in the middle. But Barbara's wishing me a very Merry Christmas. She also sent along a check so that I could take Steve out for a burger. And uh, we are going out for a burger. I told Steve about it this morning, and he was just so thankful and grateful. So thank you so much, Barbara. You are so sweet. Then we have another absolutely gorgeous card. And this is from Barbara Yeager. Look at that one. That pine bow. Oh, so delicious. And she's sending me a Merry Christmas card. Isn't that pretty? I love, love, love that. And then we have Jim and Cindy Ellers. Cindy and Jim are good friends of mine from my hometown. Cindy is also on my team as a business builder, but she started out as a discount shopper. Look at that beautiful card she made. I love how she used the tufted embossing folder in the background. And this is our ribbon that has the copper foil embossing on it. Isn't that pretty? Inside is all decorated. Good job, Cindy. That is a gorgeous Christmas card. And then look at this beautiful card. This one is from Cindy Kittner. Cindy's from Pennsylvania. And she says, thank you for all the inspiration you give us through the year. Looking forward to spending Sunday evenings with you in 2020. Well, I certainly am looking forward to it too, Cindy. Thank you. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah, gorgeous. I love that little deer standing there. Then we have Karen Nevin, another really pretty card. This is cut out and stamped on a layer underneath the red. This is so gorgeous. Thank you, Karen. Karen's from Colleen, Texas. Then we have one of my discount shoppers, Dee Dee Tipke. Oh, she's more than a, she does do, she does business. Sorry, Dee Dee. Um, look at how cute that is. I think Dee Dee teaches classes and she's in Prescott Valley, Arizona. And look at how pretty that is. This is our um, Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper and those cute little penguins. What a smashing job. Yeah. I love those penguins. I think they're so stinking adorable. And then we have Katie Schmidt. Katie is local. Look at how pretty that is. These are those, the red and green, green glitter dots. Yeah, this is gorgeous with that 2L tidying paper. There's a layer of vellum under here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really adds a softness to this card. So this is from Katie Schmidt. She's from Appleton, and she is... Um, one of my team members. And then, who's this from? I just got this one. Oh, this is from Sarah Simon. Sarah stopped over and dropped off a cheese basket from Simon Dairy, Simon Cheese. If you guys are in the area, please go to Simon Cheese. That used to belong to Sarah's family, and they are one of our cheese factories in the area that makes amazing cheese. 
But look at how cute this is. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I love this. I love fun folds. I love cards that do things. And this this is just so adorable. She used Wink Estella on her um, snowman. So I think you guys can maybe see the glitter in there. Then I got this from Mary Lynn Weller. Mary Lynn is from Port Angeles, Washington. Let me make sure that's right. Yep. Look at this. This is like a canvas. Okay. And it's got like metallic paint on it. The let it snow. Isn't that pretty? And then look at that. Yeah, very cool. She said that um, this is not Stampin' Up. She told me that. But this is, it's from 21 years ago, from 1998. This is a stamp from Stampin' Up. And she said 21 years later, it's still going strong. That's good quality. And she picked Packer colors <laughs> for my card, being that I'm a Packer fan. So that was so sweet. This is beautiful. I am going to, this is a piece of art, and I'm going to display it in my office here someplace. But I think, let me look around here, make sure that's all the cards I got. I wanted to see if I could find those snowman cards. They might be right here. And they are not. Okay, well, I thought they were right in that box. I'm like, are they in that box? I thought I set them aside so I could share them with you again tonight. I'm going to flip my camera around again because I don't like talking to nobody. <laughs> I feel like you guys are more here when I turn the camera this way. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I will be live again next week, which is December 22nd. Maybe. I'll let you guys know. I'm pretty sure we're, I don't know if we're going to be home or not. So we have to see where we're at. And that's kind of Christmas and the whole Christmas thing. But I'll let you know one way or another. If I, if we decide to go up north and I'm not going to be live on the 22nd, I'll post and say, hey, I'm not going to be live on the 22nd. But if I am, I'll let you know that too. Okay. Because um, I have a lot of Christmas stuff to do yet. Ugh, I haven't wrapped any presents. I'm not done shopping. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, so I got to do all that yet. I do plan on being live on the 29th. So I'll probably be doing, um, some sneak peeks and making some cards using new product. Yay! And watch my blog this week. I think on Thursday, no, Friday, the 20th, I have a blog hop and I am going to be sharing the cutest little gift idea. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to make. I'm not going to tell you what it is because we've got the element of surprise, but it's stinking adorable. You're going to love it. I tried to get it together for tonight and then I just like, oh, I can't and I had to go to lunch and all the things. So I'm excited about that. Um, as always, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. If you are interested, uh, how did the lady send you the snow globe card? Okay, that's a really good question. So she took... And she put a piece of, um, like, the little little tiny bubble wrap, like the little tiny stuff. She just laid a layer of it on top of this card. It's not really that big. And let me look at Barbara. Let me see if I can find. I've got, yeah, I know where Barbara's envelope is here. Okay. Um, she used a non-machinable stamp. I'm going to cover up her address here. She used that stamp, so I don't know how much money that is, but this is the size of the globe, and um, I think she had to just pay for it because it was thicker, but... Oh, Carol, go to my blog. My 3D snowmen are right on there, and my blog is www.astampabove.com. You can go there right now and find those cards. I'm so mad that I can't find them because... Gosh, I know that I set them aside somewhere so I could bring them out and show them to you guys again. Hang on, as long as you're still here. Um, I'm going to look a little bit for my snowman cards. Like, then I thought I'd put them in my box, maybe, to use them. But I can't find them in here. Yeah, I don't know what the heck I did with them. Ooh. But yeah, and also um, on 
on my Facebook page right where you are right now. When I'm done being live, you can scroll down the page and you'll see pictures of them and then you click on them and it'll take you right to my blog where you'll find all the details. Oh, and who gave me these? See, I'm terrible at remembering. Uh, Cindy Benward, I think, gave me these lemon meringue pie candy. Well, Cindy, I've been eating these. I've only got three left now. Look at these. Oh my gosh. They're so good. I only have one like every other day. <laughs> yeah. So I've been pretty good about it. I wish you lived close enough to Sharon Kersey. Hi, Francie Freeberg. I'm almost done tonight. But um, could watch the replay. We made some really cool cards. Does anybody have any other questions for me? I know. Isn't my crown cute? Kathy Shaning gave this to me. Okay, did you already mention the stack of containers behind you? I did. Um, Jamie Priest sent me these. She's a demonstrator from Michigan. And she saw that my embossing container was really old and crinkly and just kind of a mess. And so she sent these to me with the labels on them to put my embossing powder in. I love that they're really shallow. Uh, the name, I know this is backwards, but it's Sis, Sistema, S-I-S-T-E-M-A. Yeah. Um, and she put little spoons in them and everything. There's a spoon in every one. So that, oh, and look, she put labels on both sides. Gosh, she is so organized, right? I could use a little help um, with her here. But that's what the containers are for. So, I showed you all the wrong pack of paper. <laughs> Um, that's supposed to be included with our celebration purchase. So the next time I come on live, I'll show you the right pack of paper. But don't forget that when you join my team starting January 3rd, you can get this little paper trimmer in your discount shopper kit. And um, you're going to get a 6x6 six six pack of paper, not this one, but one. And you get to choose any stamp set out of the Occasions catalog or the large catalog for free. Somebody just asked a question. Oh, Deanne Davies said that these containers are at Target, you guys. So, there you go. I did not know. Cindy says, when do you think the new catalogs will be sent out? New catalogs should be arriving, like, now. So, um, they should be arriving at people's houses. You guys let me know when you start getting your catalogs in the mail. I... Say, did I get mine in the mail? I got mine at on stage, but then they send me a set too. I don't remember. Okay. Gilmore says she's seen that brand of those containers at Walmart too. And Trisha said she finally made it. She was singing. It's okay, Trisha. We're almost done. And um, you can watch the replay. I'm sorry you couldn't be here live, but singing is important too. I can't do it, so bless you. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Okay. I'm going to sign off. I don't know if I'll be live on the 22nd, but I will definitely be live on the 29th. And if I'm not live on the 22nd, you guys have yourselves a Merry Christmas. I wish you uh, all the blessings and the wonderful joy of the season. And I'm feeling really um, generous like out in public, I'm not letting things get to me. Not that I'm a cranky person anyways, but you know, it's like I'm just kind of letting things go. I've been tipping my weight staff a little bit more. I, I love the generosity and the spirit of giving at Christmas. So I wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I sincerely mean that, for watching me, for following me, for sharing my videos, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, that really helps me out and I so appreciate it. It helps me grow my business and reach new people all the time. Thank you, Chris, I'll tell Steve. And um, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much you mean to me because if I didn't have you, I wouldn't be doing this, right? So I love my job and I love sharing it with everybody. If you need anything or have any questions, let me know. Um, Merry Christmas if I don't see you next Sunday, but I will keep you posted, let you know ahead of time whether I'm going to be live or not. I just don't know when I'm going to my mom's house and she doesn't have really good internet because she's out in the country and eh, maybe I just need a break. 
<laughs> Maybe I just need a weekend off. I don't know. We'll see. I love what I do, so it's hard to take off, right? All right, you guys. Merry Christmas to everybody. Do I jingle? No, but I sparkle. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.